Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Chroma Squad. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you guys that the uh, <clears throat> that the straw poll link is still going on for our first storyline, but because of the fact that the final final uh, episode for this season is going to be recorded, well, is going to be tomorrow's episode. Uh, this will be the last chance to vote on the first storyline we'll be tackling. If it comes down to it, and there's still only two votes, I'm going to decide it with a coin flip. Uh, in the previous episode, we actually, well, spent half of it fighting in our mecha. Speaking of which, I actually went ahead and upgraded both the legs. And I believe, was it the sword arm? Or was it the body? Yeah, one of the two. Oh, by the way, I may go intermittently quiet because I haven't been feeling well, but I needed to get another episode up, and I may just be cutting my mic out so I can cough and not be doing it in your ears. But without further ado, let's get on to recording the first of the last two episodes before the finale. The Concrete Subject. A huge pile of gravel is turned into a monster who turns people into stone. Can Chroma Squad deal with such a rocky situation? Win in 10 turns, defeat with a finishing move, defeat with a final strike, and defeat monster in 10 turns. Eh, shouldn't be too difficult. Here comes a new chal- uh, monster lurking around the city. Time to put Lord Gaga's plan into action. What a mastermind. I will consume all the gravel humans, human beings leave every day on these sites. And then become the most powerful gravel creature ever made. The more I consume, the more I can turn humans into stone. <laughs> Time to eat. This looks like the best starting point for this plan. So much gravel around. Nom nom nom. Gotta love some gravel. Liang, how's things? So long... So long we don't see each other. Hey, Scott. I've been looking for dinosaur fossils on this construction site. And you? I've been waiting for Chroma Squad to appear. They seem to favor deserts and construction sites. We've never actually filmed in a desert. Construction sites, yes. But... deserts? No. If they show up, I will be around for some oil painting. Timothy, is this the place where you wanted to record your new horror movie? Yeah, Raphael. And what brings you around? Ah, eh, shredding these streets with my new longboard. That's what I need. A bunch of random people. I'm starting with them. Jeez. Why did the devs spawn me so far away from these NPCs? Uh, dramatic tension? I'm almost there. Whew! Turn to stone, both of you. What? Wait, no! <laughs> Enough talking. You're now two stones. Two stone. No. <laughs> Soon I will turn this entire town to stone. The gravel lord then proceeded with Lord Gaga's maleficent plan. Cerebro warned Chroma Squad about the threat to at the construction site, and our heroes arrived to save the day. Look, there's the creature. You there. I didn't expect people to come to me, but it sure is convenient. Weird creature, what did you do to those people? Turn them to stone. That's what I do, and that's what I'll keep doing as long as I consume gravel. And by the looks of it, you're next. Don't count on it. Rockhead. 
I had some better thought up, but I just forgot it. Not a whole lot of minions. Maybe if we just beat this creature, we'll be able to save these people in time? That's definitely what we are going to do. Hmm. Gotta get him in ten turns, which shouldn't be too difficult. Let's see, how far can Flare go? Down to there. Alright, let's get some teamwork going and get some acrobatics to launch everybody into the site. Uh, that is, if I could get everybody to launch there. Ah, oh, good. I can at least get Flare after this guy. I'm not going to do a whole lot, and the minion healer is probably just going to heal him back up to full. Jeez, these healers got some serious movement stats. Okay, let's see. Anixia, can you get in close? You can. Uh, what about you, Blizz? You can't. So I'm gonna get Meek over here, get you launched over. Get a little teamwork going so we can get that audience bar up and chromatize as soon as possible. Which is going to be right now. Works for me. Except that Tyra is way over there. Hmm. No. Blizz and Anixia have already gone. Tyra, can you get to the Gravel Lord? You can't. But you do have a bow that you can use against him. Let's see. What was the other director's instruction? Win in ten turns, and what was the other one? Keep all heroes standing? No, wait. Hit him with a finisher. Oh, great, he's got a healing. Which means I actually should be spending my time focusing on taking these guys out. Well, the men need healers at least, but I can't get to them with Anixia. Quit blowing me away. I'm just trying to beat you into a bloody pulp. What's so bad about that? Now I'm wishing I hadn't wasted my square house kick there. I'm really wishing that it's cleave time had activated. Let's get some Binon's Invisibility, and some Teamwork Attacks from Flare and Tyra on this guy. Ow. Well, that's fine. Everybody needed a bit of healing anyways. Tyra, time for some Circle of Friendship. And Mika, now why don't you take out this breadcrumber? Ooh, still invisible. Good. Let's 
Let's see, Blizz. No, you're still on cooldown. Oh well, it doesn't matter. So is the spear. Okay, we've only got five turns left. I think we need to start doing some quadruple attacks. Ooh, yeah, that's definitely put him in death range. So it seems to have also enraged him. Oh well. He doesn't move too far away. Okay, okay, I got a plan. Good. Just within range of the eagle lasso. But not in range enough for Blizz to get there. Son of a... Should have used the join up. Yeah, he's the only one who wasn't close enough. Okay. Okay, I can still do this. As long as Blizz doesn't get taken down. Okay, this time, Flare. Get next to him and use Join Up. Perfect. Blizz, you get on this side. Tyra, you get over here just to be safe. And then let's finish him off. think you have bested me? Are you prepared to face the biggest pile of gravel ever made? Wow, thanks a lot, Chroma Squad. Look, they're turning into real people like back again. Don't you mean turning back into real people again? Alright, time to skate. Seriously, you were just turned to stone, that's all you can think of? Once again, Chroma Squad saves the day. Yes, it worked! Words cannot describe how happy I am for backing them on Kickstarter. I'm alive! It worked, we saved all these people! But that huge rocky thing is still an issue we have to take care of. Imagination! Well, we defeated him in ten turns once. Let's do it again.
someone better go for a dump truck to haul this guy away. Really impressed by the latest episode of Hashtag Chroma Squad. Boom! Wow! Finish him! That was awesome moves, Hashtag Chroma Squad. I just love these giant fights over the city. Wonder how they don't crush any of the buildings, though. Yeah, that is a real concern these days. Wow, first time I've seen that finishing move. So cool. And some new mail. What do we got? A message from Jupiter. Hey friends, it's Takeda from Cyber Police. I'm writing to congratulate you, Geeks United. You are doing such a great job, and I really hope we can record something together sometime. Chroma Squad is amazing. Oh, I almost forgot. Tomoko sent a hug. Her Venus armor that you designed turned out really good, but we crafted it too late for our season finale. Oh, hearing from you is super inspiring. I'm glad to hear it. We need more amazing shows like yours. I'll spread the word about it for everyone I know from the Sentai industry. Take care. That's another 60 fans for us. And we've got one episode left on the contract, which I'll probably renew again. Ah, but with that, we really don't have anything else to take care of, so let's move on to Pile of Junk. A new monster appears at a junkyard, full of junk and a terrible stench. Chroma Spa Squad will have to smell... Uh, face it. Hit the boss monster every turn and defeat it with a finishing move. Well, that first one's gonna be tricky. Ooh, we also have a guest team member on set. Well, this is the right place. From every piece of junk, metal scraps, and bottle caps. Junkenstein, I summon you. Eat all junk you can, all the junk you can, to get stronger. Certainly, master. Then destroy this city. <laughs> oh, well, look who's here trying to mess with our plans. The Lame Rangers. Junkenstein, you handle this. I'm out. Chroma Squad, I'm going to turn you into junk and wear your helmets like trophies. Yikes, not the helmets! He's getting near, what should we do? Don't give in to fear, let's fight! Stand aside, sir! This monster here is quite dangerous. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Phoenix. I'm what some people call a... battle medic. I am a soldier specialized in 20th century warfare. And also have some deep experiences in the medical field. Either way, this ain't a simple battle. I've seen this before. I helped Cerebro when he was called Brian. Or Brain. Like I said, I am experienced and I know exactly what to do. Whoa, and how did... Cerebro beep me. I couldn't let you fun fight Junkenstein without me. You need my ability to tranquil this creature once it's enraged. And otherwise, you won't be able to defeat it. Grr, enough of this chit-chat, and let's fight already. Let's see, looks like we're just dealing with a whole bunch of healers, which... Honestly, aren't really that much of a threat. So, Phoenix, you arrived just in time. Are you ready? Born ready, Chroma Squad. Stay alert for his fury. Hey, right, let's see what this Phoenix guy can do. Let's see, heal. Okay, pretty useful. Tranquility. Remove all status effects from target enemy up to four tiles away. Well, he's got nothing but his stun resistance, and that's something I can't get rid of. 
Unfortu unfortunately. Alright, let's get Miko over here and toss a Nixia over to take out the... Oh, that was completely unnecessary. Alright, let's get Flare over here. I want to hold off on using the Chromatize until I really need it. Because, like I said, these guys are just healers. They're not too much of a threat, except in the fact that, well, they can heal. Yep, there it is. I smash! Yeah, dude's got serious knock back. Ah, hell. Well, we are early in. I could just... Nah. Honestly, money isn't that big of an issue for us. Alright, I'm gonna leave these four over here to take care of the healers. If I can. Oof. Yeah, Brian's definitely not a fighter. Which I guess is to be expected. Good boy. He's enraged. Dyra Flare, you take care of this guy. Or don't. Because, you know, I don't want him taken care of. Hmm. Might not be a bad idea to chromatize from here so that I've got Phoenix there. That is, if he doesn't run over. Oh boy. In that case, it probably would have been better to... Huh. How about some Binon's Invisibility? And Anixia, you just get back so I can minimize the damage. Yeah, yeah, we know, you smash. attack increase. Okay, Tyra, how about you circle of friendship as many people as you can? Sorry, Blizz, you're gonna be left out. Mika, start wailing on this guy with your stuff. Visibility's gone, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Just gonna wail on, on, on him as much as I can. And hope that whatever healing these guys do isn't gonna be enough to take him out of non finisher territory. So this guy can literally only summon healers. Okay, Mika, get here. Then start launching everyone so that they can surround him. Well, at least we got one director's instruction. Uh, lucky win. But there will be no luck for you versus my second life. <coughs> okay, smell you later. It worked, but it's not over yet. Indeed, Phoenix. Thanks a lot for helping us out. 
Right on. Keep up the good work, Chroma Squad. Now we need to clean up the trash for good. And I'm out. See you around. Imagination! Alright, gonna have to go through this without missing, so... Can't get too risky with our attacks. Especially to make up for that one director's instruction we missed. Did anybody else feel that? I think it might have started raining. Oh, no, wait. It was just Junkenstein's attempt at an attack. It's time for this junk to return to the junkyard. Ouch. Lowest performance yet. To my knowledge. The Chroma Squad so is, show is so strange. Are they trying to convince us that it's all real? Ugh, I hate Lord Gaga so much. Mecha fight, yay! Hashtag Chroma Squad. I wrote an idea for Chroma Squad that was more fun than this episode, but they ignored me. It was good, though. No mail? Really? Well, all that's left is the season finale. And well, like I said, this is the last chance to vote for the first storyline we'll be tackling. Anyways, guys... Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, given the fact that I record these episodes in a, a day in advance, there's probably not much point in me putting in the voting. Because once this goes up, I'll have already recorded the season 4 finale. Oh well. Such as it is. Anyways, sorry about that cough after the Junkenstein fight. I couldn't hit the switch fast enough before I cough. Anyways, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.